Hello, my name is John Marino. I am an assistant professor of biology at Bradley University, and I am a freshwater ecologist, which means I study all sorts of critters that live in aquatic systems, things like lakes and rivers and ponds and the animals that live therein. Um, so, you know, everything from tiny little aquatic crustaceans, things that are related to shrimp but much smaller, uh, that swim in the water of lakes and you need a microscope to look at carefully, uh, and even smaller things like bacteria, so single-celled organisms that you need high-powered microscopes, uh, to much bigger fish, uh, bigger organisms like fish, uh, and frogs, and, and a variety of other things. And there really is a tremendous diversity of different things that are living in our Illinois freshwater systems uh, that I want to you know, show you a little bit and talk to you about today. So uh, some students and I went to some local areas near Peoria where we have some great examples of aquatic ecosystems and, and just looked around for what kind of critters we could find and we wanna share them with you. So uh, enjoy, uh, we're gonna go to a few different places on our little field trip here. Hi, I'm here at uh, Jubilee College State Park. We're in the creek here doing some sampling for our freshwater ecology class. I have a number of students collecting rocks and we're exploring the relationship between flow rate and diversity of macroinvertebrates. So we got a number of students back there that are finding rocks in different types of habitats. And we know that flow rate can be an important factor that influences what types of species you might find in a given habitat. And then we rotate over here uh, we have a number of students who are looking at those samples and, and picking out some of the different species that they're finding uh, on, attached to those rocks in those different habitats. All right, so here we have students looking through different samples for some of the diversity. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what are you guys doing? So, we're looking at, um, our group was looking at the fast-moving water, the different rocks, and the macroinvertebrates that exist on them. So, um, after dunking them in some water, we're kind of looking at what we can find and using a guide to try and identify um, what they are. So sure. Well, let's... Found some so far. All right, let's see if I can... This one looks kind of like a little caterpillar. <laughs> yeah, and that one is a uh, caddisfly, trichoptera, right? Tri Order trichoptera. trichoptera. I think so, Let's yeah. see if I can, uh, if I hold it, maybe I can get it so it's yeah. a little clearer. Maybe I'll try from the bottom. Oh, he's curled up in a little ball now. He's pushing around, he might spread out. Oh, there, maybe. Oh, there he is. There we go. And and these guys are cool. I've mentioned to, to some of the students that um, there are some species of, tri of trichoptera, of caddisfly, that actually build cases out of pebbles or sticks. Um, but this is a, a, a one of the species that doesn't build a case. We have a mayfly larva. Nice specimen here. <laughs> Swimming around. Caddis fly larva. Squiggling around. <laughs> Very cool. He looks so fat here we have Am with his with his crayfish. <laughs> That's, That's cool. My visor, That's very my visor, cool. <laughs> everybody, everybody at home. Here we are at Banner Marsh State Fish and Wildlife Area. I'm here with a couple students from my lab. So we got Emily and Elena there. Uh, if you listen in the background, you can hear some frogs calling. So if it sounds a bit like running your finger along a comb, like those ones uh, that are behind me. Uh, in a wetland behind me, that is uh, a uh, chorus frog, uh, which are, are common uh, calling frogs around this time of year. So we're, we're in, in mid-April here at Banner Marsh, a uh, state fish and wildlife area. Um, and behind me here we have another wetland, and if you look, you can see some turtles. You can see the turtles basking, taking in solar radiation because they're ectotherms. That's good. All right, so here we are. We're collecting some macroinvertebrates. Um, so things like aquatic insects and snails and also some small fish um, using dip nets. So here we have Elena and Emily wearing waders and they're poking around through the vegetation and other small habitats to see what they find. And we found a few different things um, just going through this vegetation. Uh, so, in this tray over here, um, we found several different 
damselfly larva. So damselflies are related to dragonflies. Oh, get out my shadow to there. Um, they're in the same order as, as dragonflies. And so the adults fly around, but before they're adults, before they develop into adults, uh, they have an aquatic larval stage. Um, so their they're, they're, uh, early life stages are in the water and then they go through metamorphosis, that is they change form uh, and become adult flying insects. And as they go through this development, they go through molt. So for example, you see this individual here is kind of greenish in color. That's because he recently molted. And this bin over here, uh, we have uh, some aquatic snails. Here, I'll take one out. So I'll put one in the white tray so you can see it a little better. So here we have uh, a Physa snail. Um, these are common in ponds, and you can see its antennae sticking out there. And it's, um, these eat algae that live on vegetation. We also caught some fish in here, which you can see swimming around. Um, so there are some minnows in this pond, and then there are also, I've seen some uh, larval bluegills as well. All right, so here we have a juvenile toad that we found along the side of this pond here. So it'll get quite a bit bigger before it's ready to mate. Uh, so it's not, not an adult yet, um, but these guys are very common. We heard some calling before. They have a very high pitched long trill. Um, right now all we're hearing is that the chorus frog's calling. So I'm gonna let it hop away so you can see it go free. And you know, that dark coloration helps it blend in pretty well because you can see it in person. Is it in the... So, go ahead, little guy. All right, so I heard and saw a frog jump into the water over here. Oh, here's one. Here's someone. Probably gonna jump away, but. So now we are sampling in what's known as an ephemeral pond. So this pond tends to dry up every year, usually around late summer. Uh, since we are in spring, it's full of water from the recent rains. And because it dries up, it's missing one important group of animals that we found in the other pond we were sampling, which is right over there. Um, and that's fish. And fish can have a really important effect on what types of invertebrates what kind of insects or other species you might find. Because they are important predators. They eat all sorts of little critters. So we found some different stuff in this pond. Uh, so here in a, a box over here, I've got some of these things. So for example, we found this large aquatic beetle, that, that black beetle that you're seeing there. Here's an, a diving spider. So these can actually walk on the water and they will eat prey from above. So they'll snatch things like larval insects or even tadpoles or small fish. Now, if you look carefully here, you will see those little black swimming things. Those are tadpoles, I believe of toads. So there was an egg mass here. Um, so toads lay egg masses that can have hundreds of eggs. Um, and their egg masses are actually in long strands. Um, and these tadpoles now, they're very early on in their development, um, but they sw are swimming around some of them, um, but they will grow to be quite a bit larger uh, and they will be out of the pond in, in a couple months. All right, well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the diversity that we find here in Illinois waters and really just scratching the surface because there's a lot more out there and I hope you go exploring on your own. Uh, I just wanna thank Pam, Emily, and Elena from my lab and members of my freshwater ecology class for helping with this video. Hope you enjoyed it.